Hello, 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 it's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am so happy to have you. Thank you for stopping by. And of course, if you are a returning visitor, thank you for coming back. I am always so happy when you do. Today I have, as you can see, <laughs> A very large Timu unboxing for you. And what makes this one unique is it is almost exclusively diamond art related crafts. There are one or two exceptions in here, which I will still show you. But otherwise, this is all diamond art. Now, why did I do this? For starters, I've been doing a lot of the smaller diamond art crafts available from Timu as weekend challenges and I've really enjoyed doing them. So I thought let's get a few more of those items and see what I think. The second reason is because historically out of the items where I have done unboxings and it has resulted in a lot of dust and I am I am very sensitive more so than most people and I've had a couple videos that the items were dusty enough that it did agitate my sinuses. I ended with a cough and hoarseness and um, it was not pretty. But really it was just a couple items, like one item from each package that came that was just really, really gross. But otherwise everything else has been pretty standard, pretty much within reasonable expectation. But I did notice that both of those items were diamond art related items. So I thought let's do a purchase that is almost exclusively diamond painting kits and see what we get this time around. So just kind of like a little bit of a Timu challenge, I guess. Now, before I get started and I take all of this out, there is one thing that I definitely want to mention. And that is that with sites like Timu, you have to be very careful because there is so much stolen art on Timu. And I am not here to judge anybody. I don't know everyone's current situation. And so that is definitely not what this is about. I just want to make you aware of that fact that a lot of these artists are not even made aware that their art has been stolen and is now being manufactured, creating different things that they are not being compensated for, nor did they ever give their approval. And it's just something that is important to me. It's something that I do want to make you aware of. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So when I do my shopping on sites like Timu, Timu, I work in earnest to try and make sure that what I'm buying is not stolen art. However, mistakes are going to happen. So if you see something in here that you do recognize as somebody else's, please let me know. So then I can at least give due credit where it is due. Um, but otherwise, I do work hard to not represent that on my channel. Like I said, I am not trying to shame anybody because I don't understand your individual situation. I'm just letting you know what's going on there. All right, but now let's dive right in. As you can see, because of how Timu is shipped, it is reduced cost over protecting the items inside. So your things will maybe come slightly, you know, the outer packaging may look a little rough. Generally though, the stuff inside does come pretty well put together, yeah. And the times when it has not, I've never had any issue with getting a return. And move that whole big giant thing down below me now so that I can pull out each item individually. But yes, when something has come to me damaged, I've had no trouble getting a refund for that item. So that kind of helps offset the fact that the packaging isn't always the greatest. I mean, they do what they can, but because they are going after cost effectiveness, first and foremost, stuff is going to happen. Item number one it is not a diamond painting item at all, but I'll show you this real brief. This is actually a little sort of gift for my husband. He loves to grow seeds and especially he loves to grow um, bean sprouts. That's what they are, bean sprouts. And he's just been using the mason jar method where you can buy like a special little base for the mason jar and you grow them in there. And he was complaining the other day that he needs to be able to grow more bean sprouts. So that's all that this is, is this is a special green, no, not green sprout, bean spout. <laughs> bean sprout grower for him. So 
this is it. I'm going to leave it in here. He can get to play around with it. But just to show you, Timu has a whole variety of things. My first diamond art related item, and I think actually just the bean sprout grower was the only thing in here that was not diamond art related. My first diamond art related item is a whole set of cute Christmas cards. Now this one, I'll be honest, I bought it. Um, I did try and do like a reverse image search on these to try and find original artists because I was really concerned about that here and I couldn't I couldn't find anything so I'm hoping they're not stolen images but I don't know um it is I don't know if you can see here you know this is a little bit dirtier than a lot of my other Timu purchases you know I can't help but think if maybe it's because the diamond art related stuff because it's a craft you're dealing with more paper possibly more cardboard that there might just be more of that like floating around in the air and that's why that happens. I don't know because actually for the most part, my other team of orders have been pretty reasonable. Um, so I don't know, but I, it's just interesting. Anyway, you get a super basic toolkit. You have all of your drills in here. It looks like these are just numbered. So we don't have a DMC code associated or um, a known DMC code with any of these. They are just a number system. I think there are a dozen cards in here, but let's count our envelopes. Um, the envelopes ooh, are not, they're not a major high quality envelope, but ah, I mean, they're good enough. Your card will be able to fit in here. Odds are with something like this, I don't know that I would mail it. The envelopes are a little bit stuck together, but I would never just rely on the glue seal here anyway. I would actually use something else to seal these envelopes with. Um, I mean, they're, they're fine. They're not super heavy. They're not lined or anything like that, but they'll work. And as I was saying, I probably won't really mail these. These are more, you hand them out like in person type cards. Um, in part because it costs more to ship these. <laughs> so I tend to leave my square cards as in-person gifting items. So then the envelope doesn't need to be quite as high quality. And now to look at the cards themselves. Okay, so what I do notice, and I'm not sure if you can really see this, there are some puncture marks on the card here from where other items have pressed into them from like the toolkit or possibly the drills. It is nothing severe. Maybe on the white side you can see it better. I don't know. There you can kind of see it. Um, it's nothing severe though. Certainly I think acceptable. You know, your edges are bent a little bit. Again, given I think Someone wanted me to be able to share prices more regularly, and that's harder. It's hard to do with Timu because of the fact that the prices change like daily. And then there are so many different sales and coupons that you add on to them. But I want to say that this set of 12 cards was maybe $14. I think it worked out to just over a dollar a card. So you're not, I mean, they're very inexpensive. But here you have a cute doggy. The inside is completely blank. Here is an adorable kitten, a knitting kitten. That's why I got this set, actually. The backside is another image from the front. So here you can see really, really well that it is a kitten knitting a stocking. But that's why I had to get this set, was there was a knitting kitten. I mean, how could you refuse? They aren't all like that, though. So here you have a reindeer, Merry Christmas, and the back of the card is completely different. It's not a repeat of that image at all, but it is still blank on the inside. Here we have a whole pile of presents. It's like a Christmas tree of presents. And again, the back is just really festive, pretty. Beautiful Christmas sleigh. Could be Santa sleigh here. Merry Christmas. Bunch of additional presents that I assume need to be put onto that sleigh to go out to all the little boys and girls around the world. This is 
kind of interesting actually. Instead of a stocking that is hung on the window, which is done in some countries, or in the United States, we tend to hang them by the fireplace if you have a fireplace. Otherwise, we just hang them wherever we can possibly hang a stocking. This is actually a mitten that is hung on the window with goodies on the inside. Now last year, here's a, another image of that. Last year I did a whole series throughout December that talked about different little quirky historical facts about the holidays. And I don't remember reading about a culture where you put out a mitten, but that could very well be a thing. So I don't know what I'm going to do this year for the holidays, but maybe it'll be more of the same. Here is another one that made me just fall in love with this set. Here we have this adorable little gnome with his presents. Isn't he cute? Little log cabin in the background there. And here is the gnome up closer. Just like a cropped image of the front. Here we have a very toothy, smiley mug of hot cocoa with some peppermint sticks in there for added flavor. Looks like it could be like almost a centerpiece on a table. And then the back just is a really nice Merry Christmas. Here is a very jolly Santa in a wreath. Merry Christmas. The back, again, just more festive embellishments. Here's a cute little gingerbread man with a couple of gingerbread cookies and some festive foliage behind him. Looks like some holly, because I do see some little red berries there. And here is, again, kind of like a cropped version of the diamond painted item. And here is a very classic looking centerpiece. You have a couple of candles. It is not an advent, can advent candle piece, but more just a, a standard table centerpiece. You have a poinsettia, a couple of bells on there. Really pretty. This one is almost elegant looking, I think. And finally, one of these red lanterns. I'm a sucker for these red lanterns. <laughs> I don't even own one, but I just think they're so cute. They're so festive and yeah, I don't know. I'm just a sucker for them with a lovely cardinal and just Merry Christmas on the back. Each one does have a piece of plastic over the front that is protecting the glue where you will attach your drills. The drills, somewhat somewhat surprisingly, there are not very many special drills in here. In fact, there might only be one. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these drills out. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, so most of them in here, as you can see, are a standard acrylic round drill, okay? But then you do have a separate a separate run here of a red, slightly larger round crystal. Here's an even larger round crystal. Here you have some yellow gold, orange, lavender, and then you do have like a marquee shape crystal here too. So we had a lot of little orange escapees into this lavender package. <laughs> That's pretty normal. I guess they just really wanted to go play with their friends this away. I want to show you if you can see. Can you kind of see how this is definitely more dusty? I don't know if that's going to come through on the camera at all. Um, again, I just find it so interesting. I'm Like I said, the only thing I can kind of think is maybe because it is a lot more paper products. You know, paper is by nature <laughs> creates a lot of dust if that is why i don't know i've started donating these green trays to our elementary art teacher to use as little paint trays for her students so i'm not going to put back any of these we're just going to leave those out next item i have is for one of my weekend challenges i put together one of the little tote square totes and i thought it was so cute the end product was so cute. I got another similar one. This one is actually shorter. This is a rectangle. The other is a square. Now this is kind of weird. I'm going to show you this. So here we have I 
I'm not sure. I'm pulling up a lot of glue here. Hmm. Yeah, there's no glue here now at all. I'm not sure what happened. This piece of plastic got caught under there and it did pull up some glue. So this is now missing some glue on here. A couple of these ones, there's no glue on there anymore. So this one is um, not quite as nice as the other one that I did was. That's a shame because that other one was so cute and it ended up so adorable. Um, but it's still a really cute image. And I do think, oh, there's a hair. See, there's a hair caught there. Ooh, let's find some tweezers and try and get that hair out. All right, so the hair's been removed. Um, I'm hoping that this is still gonna look really cute. I think it's still gonna be really cute when it's done. It's just gonna take, I think, a little bit more care when I put it together. Ooh, it's a lot more narrow than I thought. Oh, look at this. I was thinking, and this, this base doesn't fit in there real well either. So inside, you do have a base to help it lay flat, which is nice. I wonder, maybe if I turn it over, it'll fit better. Maybe. Not really. Okay, so this, the base on the inside of this is not, it's like a quarter of an inch too large. So it's not fitting real well down there. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. And it, I mean, your box still stays open. It is more narrow than I thought. For some reason, I thought it went a little bit deeper than this. This, however, I like this size a lot. I actually prefer this size than if it did go deeper. So that's kind of a added bonus that I was not anticipating. And yeah, while the base is just a hair too large, I think, you know, with time and stuff, it'll stretch out and I think it won't really cause any kind of a problem. And then here are our drills. Here we do have all beautiful crystals or a B type drills. I love them. We have like a teardrop back here that's like a pink AB. Um, and then the rest, all these gorgeous crystals, a couple different size crystals, a couple larger round, and then just regular size round. I mean, this, sh this should look really gorgeous when it's done. Like I said, it's just going to have to take, I think, a little bit of extra TLC to work with it. Add a little glue here and there, um, and then do a really good job sealing it. But I'm still hopeful. I still think this will be cute. Last weekend, my weekend project was actually doing some stickers from Timu, and I had so much fun doing those stickers that I was eager to be able to get a few more. These are just some really cute gnome stickers. And I'll open this up mostly to get out that little toolkit in here, which I will do a check with this one. So I do like to check the wax occasionally on these simple little toolkits to see if it's what I call dead wax, which means it's all dried out. No, this is actually, it's not the freshest wax that I have received, but it's still fresh wax. It's still completely usable. It's good to go. Um, definitely note there is a plastic coating on each side of the wax that you should be aware of. If you do use this wax before you try and stick your drill pin in there, you need to take those plastic coating pieces off. But then otherwise, these are just all standard acrylic round drills in here. But check out how cute these stickers are. So these are holiday gnome stickers. Aren't they cute? Got a couple of gnome houses, a few different gnomes here, lantern carrying, present. She has a candy cane, little Christmas tree. Um, this looks like a Christmas cookie. We have a Christmas tree tree over here and another lantern and another lantern. I mean, just cute. They're just really, really cute stickers and I couldn't resist. Here are some little cat Christmas ornaments. It does come with some twine. You will need to cut it up yourself, but then you can attach it to the ornaments if you want to use this as the method to, you know, eventually hang them. Another little toolkit. 
These are only one-sided, I just noticed, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I was kind of hoping they'd be two-sided, but um, it's a toss-up. Some of them are, some of them are not. I'd like to get this open, though. Cat with a present. Cat with a Christmas tree. Cat with a candy cane. Oh, no, that could be a cat with a Christmas ornament. That's not a good kitty. This is a cat with, oh no, that almost looks like it's a box of Christmas chocolates. It's also not a good kitty. Here's a cat dressed up like an elf. Here is a cat that I think is supposed to be like another elf. That's what I'm getting. Here's a cat just in a cute little Santa hat and scarf. Uh-oh, this might be another naughty kitty. Might be another Christmas ornament. Oh, this one looks like he is patiently, or not maybe patiently, but definitely trying to schmooze his human out of something. Wearing a little Christmas wreath around his neck. This cat, I think that's like a little bag of presents that this cat has. Must be Santa's helper. And this cat has a snowman head on a stick? Is that what this is? It's hard for me to see this close. You guys through the camera can actually see better than me. Is he trying to eat the Santa? I don't know. This one confuses me a little bit. All right, what I'm seeing is a Santa head on a stick and the cat's about to eat it. Is that what you see? Let me know in the comments. But yes, it is 12 different ornaments. That is a good number of ornaments. This is a plastic, but I mean, it's a pretty, it's a substantial enough plastic. It's not real flimsy. There's a very, very, very thin plastic coating on top of these. Uh-oh. This ornament, though, is broken. Oh, and it's even the mystery one, the one that I don't understand. Yes, this is a broken ornament. That is a bummer. Oh, so now I feel like I should probably look at all of them and see. Oh, this is another broken one. <gasps> That's not good. After looking through them all, there are only two broken ornaments. This poor kitty with the presents, bag of presents, his tail is no longer attached. And this poor kitty, the weirdo, eating Santa's head, no, snowman's head, his ear is no longer attached. So these are no good. We'll see what the rest of this package is like. If um, there's something more damaged than these two, I will return that other item. Otherwise, I'm going to leave these out and then this might be a return item. You can only get up to one free return per Timu purchase which usually is more than enough. Usually there's only one item at most that comes to you that's damaged like this, um, but we'll see. Because this is a pretty large order, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, claim this and then it turns out it's actually something else that was even more damaged. Here I have a box. It does say fragile. <laughs> Let's open it up. I don't recall what is in here. I have to find my scissors. Here we go. It's still a bit of a mystery, guys. What is in here? Oh yeah, that's right. I am so glad that these were so carefully packaged. These are little like yogurt type jars with a lid. Now you may be saying, "I this is not that's not diamond painting related," but actually, I have started filling up. One jar has clear crystals in it. Another jar has like a multiple color of crystals, crystals that don't really fit in with any other colors that I have. Um, and then I want to do one jar for all black, just normal black drills. Um, and then I just really, really like these jars. So they are kind of diamond painting related, but they are really nice handy jars. They are not the least expensive item though, at least by Timu standards. Um, again, I'm not sure on the price. They may have been upwards of almost like $12, but I really, really love the jar because I earned one free in one in that fish game one time. So I thought that's how I'll try it out. 
and I really liked the jars. So for me, it was the perfect item. So I went ahead and I got them. Oh, I have another not at all diamond painting related item. So there were two things in here that had no bearing on diamond painting. Some socks. <laughs> Just got these little socks for my daughters. They were really in inexpensive, like $3, maybe $4. Um, they are very cheaply made. There's no toe or heel reinforcement, but for the price, and especially I was thinking daughter number three, she is so rough on her socks that even a high quality sock, she wears them one time and there's already holes. So I thought I'd rather spend like nothing and just get cheap socks and have her wear them one time and have them be ruined than spend a lot of money and have her still ruin them after only one use. Oh, this was my free item. So Timu, quite often you can get a free item with your purchase. This is an item that I use all the time. This is my go-to for small projects. If you've watched my weekend challenges, you will have seen this handy little item in here. It is a large container. And then it is filled with like these sleeves with four small containers each. This has come to me in a little padded case, which is kind of nice. Some extra protection with this item. We'll see what this one is. All right, so when we take it out, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> this was a complete experiment item. These are, you know, as you can see, that's pretty dirty here you know I mean <laughs> that's there's no denying that's kind of dirty but that's okay um these however are barrettes look at this I just I saw these and I just I had to get them because I just had to try them out they are little hair clips and then the front there's only four colors all three of these are identical maybe this will be my weekend challenge because I don't have a lot of time this weekend so I need a small challenge but here you go you have four different oh wait oh there's oh look at wait what oh they are identical but they're different okay this is kind of cool all right so here you have these three barrettes and they are all the same as you can see. However, each barrette has its own package and inside of each package there is a different set of drills. So like this one, your center is this large rose shape and this has a black, silver, and like orangey gold gems in here. This one, your center is a large blue AB circle with some blue marquees and then black and silver. And then the last one is like a large white pearl AB in the center, some clear crystal marquees, and then black and silver. So each one is slightly different. Your marquee pieces are different colors and your center piece is a different color for each one. So there is a little bit of variety to this. Well, that's unexpected. That's kind of fun. Ooh, I do have to sneeze though. Okay, I'm not sneezing yet. Oh, this is another one that I was so excited to find. These are bookmarks. Yes, I was very excited to see this. Oh, and look, this is our first white tray. This is completely pink wax and a clear, kind of sparkly drill pin. So this toolkit is even different than the others. Here are all of the tassels that you can attach to your bookmarks. Your drills, these are all just normal acrylic round drills. There are no, there is one white AB drill in here and that is it for special drills. So I don't know if I'm gonna open that package because you can see the white AB drill right there. But otherwise they're all standard round acrylic drills. We are, however, going to look at these. I was very excited to see this. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't remember what I paid again. Um, 
I don't guys. They are much thicker than what I thought they would be. Like by the time I get my drills on here, they might be too thick. Like, I don't know that I want to put this in a book. I mean, this is a lot thicker than I thought. I was thinking it would be, I've gotten some uh, ornaments in the past that were probably about half this thickness. And I thought it would be like that. This is pretty substantial. I mean, this is, if I don't use them as bookmarks, then your other option is you could attach one of those little suction cups and hang these from your window. Because the back is a really... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I told you I had a sneeze coming. Um, and yes, these items are dustier. These are not. These bookmarks, actually, this is very reasonable. This is normal. I'd say this is more normal grit and grime on the bookmarks. Um, but I don't know what it is about these. Like I said, I think it's the paper product aspect. But the back is really nicely done. So I think, you know, if you put your drills in here and hang it in the window, this would be really, really pretty. I love roses. So here we have roses. I really, I like flowers and birds. I'm kind of an old woman. <laughs> and here there is a little butterfly. So, I mean, they're really pretty. I'm just surprised. They're much thicker than what I was anticipating. All right, I'm going to show both of these at once because they are kind of clearly from the same general set. They are a welcome and a Noel little wooden greeting signs. They should both hopefully come with stands in here so you can set them up. I thought they were really cute. Back to our very standard <laughs> toolkit. So the welcome, these are all gorgeous looking crystals. Look at these fun colors. You have like a white AB, green crystal, kind of like a almost a peachy crystal and red, a lavender, um, normal black. Here you have teeny tiny little red raindrops. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that real well. Really tiny. Those are so tiny. Here's your image. Welcome. You got a couple of snowflakes in here. So clearly this is meant to be like a winter item yet. Um, with the present, definitely does suggest that it is holiday specific. But I know me and I think I'd overlook that and just consider it as a winter item. And then there is a base here. Yeah, I do think once the, I have to be careful, I don't want to break it now. Um, once the plastic is off from here and this is done up, I do think it's going to sit in this base actually quite well. We will also take a quick look at Noel too. I'm curious, it looks like the... Yeah, it looks like these are pretty much the same color drills as the welcome sign. So this really is a set. They were sold separately, however. But yeah, it is a matching set. This one, I mean, there's no mistaking when it says Noel, this is clearly holiday. Um, and then with it being a matching set, that's really cute. This one too, I imagine... Yeah, I think once that plastic is off, it will fit in there quite snug, but well, really cute. I kind of got onto a coaster kick. So one of my weekend challenges was doing a set of coasters from Timu. And I loved those coasters so much that I got it in my head that now I wanted to make a coaster for one of, for every single one of my kids' teachers. That is a lot of teachers. And then I saw this coaster kit. <laughs> And I also had to get this coaster kit because it's more birds. Look, look, it's more birds. I love the birds. And this is a holiday bird coaster kit. Here is all of your corkboard bases that you attach separately. It's like a little sticker. But I will set out these images so you can kind of see them. But the first kit that I did was birds and I loved it so much 
But then when I saw this one, I thought, oh, well, I have to get this one. And then this will work for if I don't have enough coasters that I bought for teachers, I can, you know, I could come back and steal a couple from here if I had to. Look, but they're all cardinals. They're very festive looking. Oh, I love these. I hope these turn out as cute as that first set that I did. Maybe even cuter. I really love these. So cardinal coasters, so cute. These could be really pretty when done. Like really, really pretty. Here you can see all crystals. It's gonna be so shiny. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. We're starting to get to the bottom. Here is another one that was brought, sent inside of a double mailer here, which I like. I feel like maybe if, you know, maybe if these ornaments had come packaged like that, maybe they'd still be together. So, oh, look at this. This one does actually offer a step-by-step. Excuse me again. So that's, this is my first like actual step-by-step. -step. The box does have on the back of it a step-by-step -step process here too. Another basic toolkit. Gorgeous crystals. I really, really like crystals. But then you know what these are? And you know, I thought there were only four in here, but there are six. So these are two more than I thought. Okay, these are little hooks. that I was thinking would work really well in a locker. And I got three kiddos with lockers. So the plastic line is down here. You drill this, this is like a really soft, flexible plastic. And then I don't know if there is a sticker on this back side. Yes, there is. So this pulls off, it is sticky underneath. You just hang this up and now you have this little hook. Now, I don't think this is probably like the strongest hook in the world, but I mean, it's enough to hold some jewelry, your mittens, maybe keys if you have a driver going to school. Um, I do not, oh, thank goodness, although that is coming up. Um, really cute though, but I thought these would be really cute inside lockers. Oh, so I wanted this to be my weekend challenge because it's small. But the kids start school on Tuesday. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know what I'm going to do, guys. But these are really cute. The yellows all have different expressions. Really cute. This I'm really, really pleasantly surprised about. This is really, really sweet. Here are some more ornaments. Christmas ornaments, of course. You can notice a theme. I'm definitely thinking holidays. <laughs> <laughs> all right these are very thin this is what i thought the bookmarks would be like <laughs> go figure these are very very thin i mean so thin i'm not sure you could really use this as an ornament i mean that's what they're meant for you have a hole up here and then these actually come with more substantial you know it's not twine the other ornaments, so these, my two broken ones, these are quite a bit thicker and they came with twine. Here you have these substantial gold chains here. <laughs> oh, I guess they're meant to be key chains maybe because look, you do have this little fob thing there. So maybe these are meant to be key chains. But even that, I feel like this isn't going to stand up inside of somebody's purse. Huh. I might have to get creative with these, but they're all different reads. This one has something on it. It comes off though, yep. And I'm going to assume there is a little tiny, thin, sticky piece on the top of these. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this off. Wow, these are surprising. These are so thin. <laughs> And yeah, I think they're meant to be keychains, but I, I don't see how this would work as a keychain. Yeah, there is. There's a thin plastic on there. Okay. 
They're really cute. Yeah, I think they are really quite cute. But they're just so thick. I mean, this is what I thought the bookmarks would be. I mean, maybe they're kind of an odd shape, but maybe I make these into bookmarks. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's always a surprise when you do this kind of shopping, what you're going to get. It just is. It just, it's amusing. It's just very amusing to me. But I really love the design on here. Um, but yeah, this is more, this is what I expected the bookmarks, the weight of the bookmarks to be. But look at these amazing drills. Look at this. Gorgeous, super sparkly crystals in here. Here you have a teeny tiny little yellow marquee. Here you have a larger green marquee. This is a crystal marquee. This is kind of like what I consider like a true like Aurora Borealis, not the coating, but like crystal. Does that make sense? I mean, so the crystals are gorgeous. I mean, I really like these. I'm just surprised is all. This item intrigued me. <laughs> this was a like last minute add-on. See again, can you see? That's like some dried glue that's stuck on here. I mean, that's, it's just kind of weird. But I mean, none of my other items have come like this. It's just strange. But this was an item I saw last minute <laughs> and I thought, well, that looks kind of different. All right. This is like, there's one other toolkit like this one in my batch. Ooh, very, very few drills, a green AB, a red crystal, and then a dark red crystal. That's it. Okay, but this, all right, got to clean this off. This is definitely kind of dusty, but I mean, that's okay. But it's nothing more, <laughs> it's like nothing more than um, plastic wrap in here. That's all that this is. It's just like plastic wrap. Like you have to be very careful with that. But then you do this, you know, if this were just slightly more substantial. Ah. But then this goes in the center of it. And then you stand it up in here. But now I notice, look, there's a hinge. Okay, so you could replace this cellophane. It's two-sided. So, oh, so actually it even goes in the middle. Oh, and this is two-sided. Oh, be hard to replace it, but you could do it if you were to never open it back up. Okay, that's really interesting. This is not a, um, this is not meant to last a long time. <laughs> no, this is so, well, and look, you have a little weird air bubbles that pop up in there. This is so fragile. I mean, it was like three bucks. But then you can put that in the center. I, I don't know. It, like I said, it was a quick, I added it to my purchase thing. It may have actually been, I added this and then I saved more money. Like, if you're familiar with Timu, quite often you'll get your cart to one level and we'll say something like, oh, just add another $2.72 to save $10. <laughs> and I think that's what this was. So I threw this in there. It was, like I said, around $3. And I think that's what this was, is it put me over that next coupon mark, is what they call it. But that is really interesting. Like I said, it's very, very fragile. This is not meant to be a long use item. I don't know, I don't think any of the reeds are identical. If two of those reeds were identical, I'd put those back to back, and then that could go in here too. But I don't think any of the reeds are identical, and they're only one-sided. Versus this is meant to be a two-sided piece. I mean, the concept is really cool. I really like the concept. And it's the kind of thing where if it were 
you know, a higher quality, it would be really cool. You know, I could see having a frame like this, higher quality, and then you could change out the centerpiece, like seasonally or something. Wouldn't that be cool? That is an item that I would be truly interested in getting. More stickers, more gnome stickers or gonks. According again to Liz over at Scotty Dog Crafts, she's the other YouTuber that I quite religiously follow along with. <laughs> so that's why I also reference Liz a lot. But according to her, she was told by one of her viewers that if you don't see the gnome's eyes, they're called gonks. Now, here's the thing. I've not heard anyone else since then say that, but that's what Liz says, according to one of her subscribers. Standard toolkit. But here are all of our gonks. I thought they were just cute. They're definitely meant to be like a late summer, early autumn gonk theme. And standard round acrylic drills. Here is a notebook. Now, my favorite notebooks, of course, come from Craft Buddy because those are such high quality and really very reasonably priced, I think, too, for the quality that they are. This notebook, you know, this is much thinner. This did come a little, this is definitely kind of bent. I don't think it's terrible, you know, I don't think it completely detracts from it. But you can definitely see this did come bent. But it's a pretty cheap soft cover. It's actually a foam, which is why it can be bent like that. It's kind of it's a foam cover of some sort. But that front image is really cute. Again, it's you know flowers and birds. You know, foliage, pumpkins. I'm an old woman. What can I say? <laughs> but the inside, what I liked about it is the inside are completely blank pages. So this is, you know, way, way back in the dark ages, like the 90s, you would have by your phone a book, like a notebook or a pad of paper, and you would write your phone messages for people on that pad of paper, right? This is what made, this is what I was reminded of when I saw it. So I don't know if this is one I'll finish and then maybe I'll stick it in my purse because I try and have like a little notebook in my purse or something too to jot down notes on um, for me, that's still easier than trying to jot notes into my iPhone. Maybe, see, I am. I'm just old. I'm just old. <laughs> but here are all of the crystals. A couple of different things. We got a couple of ABs in here, a couple of different size crystals in here. I mean, I think this is still going to look so pretty when it's done. Really, really pretty. It is kind of sad that it did, it did get bent like broken bent but I think it's gonna be okay yet yeah oh this is it, it, I think it's still gonna be so pretty when it's done I just love that image all right there are just two more things this is my second to last item actually yeah no we'll start with this one this is a little partial diamond painting canvas basic little toolkit again it's just a little 30 by 30 the actual size of this however is definitely smaller than that 25, about 25 by 25 is the actual finished dimensions. Um, you know, I thought it was cute. Just a nice, fun, festive holiday scene. You got like this cup of hot cocoa or something with all these like cookies popping out, making kind of this wintry, cute gingerbread scene in there. Snowflakes in the background. I thought it was just really fun, festive, and cute. And it came with really fun drills. <laughs> See, I'm a sucker for fun, sparkly things. So we got lots of really fun, cool, super sparkly drills in here. And then my final item, I'm going to leave this out. My final item, this is not really the right, 
I can put something behind. Well, okay. It's magnetic frames. That's what these are, is they are magnetic frames. These are 30 by 40 magnetic frames. Now I have ordered a set of these from Timu before, but they came and those were broken. They got damaged really bad in shipping. So I did have to return those. I mean, I kept it, you know, but it, it was trash. I threw it away. So that was a return item. But these, I'm excited to try this out. So I think I got two, a set of two. Yes, it looks like it. Oh, they still came. Oh, bummer, look. I still got one really messed up in here. I mean, that's nothing like, I mean, the last ones, the center was all cracked. So it's still much, much better than that, but that's kind of a disappointment. I'll pull back the plastic, maybe you can see a little bit better. See, that's all broken. That's a bummer. Aw. That is kind of a bummer. It's not bad, bad. But, eh. Um, but yes, it is a magnetic frame. It pulls apart. And then you put your painting in the center here. And I mean, obviously I did a very poor job of that, but um, yeah, and then it's just a very simple way to display some of your art. I will say the one thing you need to be aware of is because these are only magnets, you're not, they're not the sturdiest of frames. So like your partial kits and stuff are, I think the better items to include in here. The backside is actually a large sticker that if you wanted, you could peel this off and stick it up somewhere. I don't actually plan on doing that. I'm gonna leave it alone. Oop, upside down. Um, but I just, I thought this is kind of a cool way to display some of your smaller projects. A little bit different. Now this other frame, it is still a little bit damaged in the corner, same corner as the first one, but definitely a little bit better because it was underneath. So, okay. Like I said, a little bit of a disappointment. It's not, I mean, it's not terrible, but it is a little bit of a disappointment. I think for something like this, because of its awkward size, if you wanna get quality or undamaged, you're gonna have to probably order from a craft site or like an Amazon or something like that. We have two sets of stickers. We have this that I desperately wanna find a high-end version of. We have the wreath keychains that I don't think can be used as keychains. We have the Noel and welcome signs. We have the bookmarks that are like way too fat to be bookmarks. We have the rest of the kitten ornaments. We have our Christmas cards. We have, oh, that's right. We have the hooks, like the locker hooks. We have the package of coasters. We have my freebie, and then we also, in this box, are those glass containers. We have my husband's seed tray, as well as the socks. I think that's all of it, guys. And for the most part, again, 85% of this, great stuff. And the other 15, eh, it was so cheap. Or, like I said, I will just, I'll do a return on these, and it shouldn't be a problem. You know, I'll just take a picture and do a return, and it shouldn't be any kind of a problem at all. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy. A lot of this will make great gifts for other people, whether unfinished or finished, excellent gifts. So this was my latest Timu haul that was almost exclusively diamond art related. That is everything for today. Thanks again for stopping by. And like I always say, please practice kindness. You just don't know someone's situation. You don't know what has shaped their worldview. So just be kind. And I hope that you're shown that same level of kindness. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you again real soon.